What is up guys? It's your old pal Charlie Chainsaw. And I'm just trying to get comments up here. There we go. Let's see if I can start seeing who's watching. Hello Brittany, how you doing? We got one person so far. Let's see, two. And it's going to be a little difficult because I'm live streaming on my phone. My iPad doesn't want to do it, so I'm kind of jumping back and forth here. Uh, hello everybody watching. We're going to do a unboxing of the new series of Pokemon trading card game cards. These are new booster packs. They're called Shining Legends. Honestly, I haven't even looked up what's in it. I was told Ultra Beasts are supposed to be in it, but I'm not sure. But uh, you can get either Pikachu or Mewtwo on these pin boxes. I've been collecting the pins lately. So I kind of got this one, mostly because I'm not a Pikachu fan. But we also have a huge announcement regarding giveaways and page info and all. So at the end of this, we'll give that info. I think you guys will be pleased with the giveaways I got at Comic-Con yesterday. So I bought some stuff especially to give away to the fans. So let's begin. 13 people. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to see everybody's comments, but hopefully I can. So we're just going to start by opening this. I don't like how they changed the boxes. Back when I used to collect big time where I was buying everything I could, they were so much easier to open. Now they're just hard sealed. So... Let's see what we got. We already know we get a pin and a Mewtwo card. And these aren't bad for $15 either. I got this from Walmart, in fact. But you figure. Let's take the top off. I, when I was at Comic-Con yesterday, they actually had the original Yu-Gi-Oh! booster packs for $125 a piece. It makes me wonder how much this stuff will be worth eventually, if you leave them unopened. So let's start with the Mewtwo card. This isn't a bad card. Uh, pressure, as long as your opponent, your Pokemon is active. Your opponent's active Pokemon attacks do 20 less damage. So this, if this is your main Pokemon that you're attacking with and you're battling with, uh, you can reduce attacks by 20 for your opponent. So and that's not too bad. And also, Super Psy Bolt, for only 3 energy, that's not bad. Because there's really no drawback to it. So this ain't a bad card. That's also one of the reasons I got it. Then you have this sweet Mewtwo pin. Now my local Walmart also has the Entei, Moltres, and uh, Suicune pins. I'm going to be going back for them eventually. Maybe I'll do it all at once and then mm -hmm. open everything. So we'll put that back there. And then here is the Shining Legends packs. I, the Pikachu one didn't have Rayquaza. That was one of my big drawbacks on why, uh, getting it or not. Because I'm just a huge Rayquaza fan. And then your uh, code for the trading card game. So let's begin. We'll open you first. Now I can't see comments if anybody's commenting. But I'll see what I can do. Let me see if I can back out of the live stream and then I'll show these cards. I feel like I might get something good out of this. Only because last time I did this all the cards were just simply hollow. There's no GX or anything. So let's see. I really like this artwork too. That's pretty cool. Reminds me of the old school. So there's the booster code. Now every time I do the booster codes, I get better cards in the game than I do in real life. So let's see. We got Pikachu. Uh, that's actually not bad Pikachu either. Mo uh, flip until you get Tails. I can do a lot of damage. Stunfisk. Uh, that's a cool Ekans. Freeloom, Voltorb, Holographic Energy. That's pretty cool. Back when I uh, started playing when these were first out, there was no Holographic Energies. Zekrom. That Zekrom ain't too bad. Golurk, Volcarona. So the Hollow in here is the Energy. That's not too bad, I guess. Let's see. Volcarona. During your... Uh, turn before you attack, you may have your opponent switch. Yeah, it's not too bad, I guess. 
So the first pack isn't that bad overall. These were the cards. One of these days I want to do an unboxing of the Elite decks where it comes with, or the Elite packs where it comes with dice and eight packs and all that cool shit. So we'll do Rayquaza last. So we'll do Genesec now. Shiny Legends. If I can get it open. There we go. Sometimes they just don't want to cooperate. There's our code. Let's see. I don't even know if these are these are ten packs, yeah. So let's see. Warp energy. What is warp energy? When you attach this card to your hand, okay, so it allows you to switch your Pokemon. Pokemon Catcher. Another Volcarona. Another Energy, but it's not Hollow. Hollow Reshiram. It has Outrage, which does 10 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So it's almost like a Tauros. And Scorching Breath. Opponent can't attack during your next turn. That's pretty good. And a Shiny Raikou. Or not Shiny, a uh, Full Card Holographic. I guess you would call it. That's pretty neat, too. Booming Thunder. Attach a... Electri uh, electric energy from your discard pile or a bench Pokemon and Electro Ball. Or sorry, yeah, Booming Thunder and Electro Ball. There we go. Buzel. Not really a fan of that one. Zara. That's a pretty nice card. I like the artwork on that. The artwork on this is pretty neat. Uh, that's one of the reasons I play the game. So I just like the art. Another Ekans. That's a common card. Probably like a Ponyta. You know, really, really common. Pikachu, and Croconaw. That's not bad. Out of this one, you know, Croconaw, Pikachu, all them. I got these two, and they're pretty neat. It's the first time I have a full body hollow, too. Alright, so let's do the last pack, and then we'll get on to announcements. Get it back in the pack. Alright. And then this is the code for the Mewtwo to get it on your game. Now, for those of you who might have just been starting a trading card game online or don't know it, these codes, this code will give you the card that's featured, so it'll give you the Mewtwo. However, the ones in these packs will give you a random pack. Hello, Brandon. How you doing? Good to see that I can actually see comments. I thought I wasn't able to see them. So, in other words, this one will give you the face card that you can see that you're getting, and then these just give you a generic booster pack. So, I might not get those two hollows from the last pack. I might get a GX card, or I might get a shiny of something, or something random. And these are tradable on the game, so it's better, too. Like, I had the Tapu Coco box, and I traded the promo in-game, the digital copy, I should say, for... I forget what I got. I think I got an EX card. And then here's the code for this one. And then we got Pokemon Catcher. Another Golurk. Wait, wait, what's wrong with this card? Oh, for a minute there, I thought, uh, I was looking at the flames, and then I realized, oh, that's a tail. I thought that they, like, made a mistake on the art. Another Volcarona. Water energy. Oh, now my cards are wet. <laughs> Entei GX. This is my very first GX card I've ever gotten out of a booster pack. This is awesome. Hello, Dorian, how you doing? I have never gotten a GX card in a booster pack. I've never gotten an EX card in a booster pack. This is awesome. This is making my night. Combustion, 50 damage for 2 energy. Fire Fang, burns your opponent and does 100. And Brave Burn is the GX attack. It does 150 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. That is pretty damn good. I like that. And full, or, full Hollow Quillfish. 
Not a big fan of quillfish, but this is still pretty cool. Shocking sting. If your opponent, you know, let's just get back to this. This one's great. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. All right. Shocking sting. If your opponent's active Pokemon is affected by condition, it does 50 more damage. I guess that's not too bad, especially since its first attack actually poisons them. That's why I like them, Peter. Hello, Amber, too, by the way. Hello, Peter. But that's why I like collecting them is the artwork. It's so awesome. Litten. Crocodile. There we go. I got another crocodile. But I guess you could say plunge is decent because the ability, you can move all energy cards from your active Pokemon to this Pokemon. So I'm assuming for alligators probably got some decent move that you can use with it. Hello, Kara. How you doing? Golet. That's a pretty cool artwork, Golet. It's got the same moves, though, from uh, the first Sun and Moon packs. I think. It looks like it. Uh, Bulbasaur. That is nice artwork on that Bulbasaur. I like that. I'm a big Bulbasaur fan. It's one of my favorite starters. And I got a Totodile. Which looks like it's twerking for some reason. I don't know why. It looks like it's twerking in the water. It's twerking in a waterfall. Twerk it out. <laughs> Alright. So to review here. We got Totodile. Well, Twerk it out. I'm forever going to call this Twerk it out. I really am. Bulbasaur. Golet. Crocodile. Litten. Quillfish. Entei GX. Water Energy. My third Volcarona, Go Lork, and Pokemon Catcher. <laughs> that is ironic, Kara, that you got them. So, this is my first three packs I bought into this set, though. I just got another job, so I'll be doing more giveaways and unboxing because I can actually afford extra stuff. That's part of my announcement is that I'm going to be doing a lot of giveaways and unboxings. And I'll be able to do more wood burnings, too. Just not as often, but I'll still be doing them. I also have Christmas ornaments I'll be giving away, and we'll get more on that in a minute. That card pack. That Entei just tried to fly out of my damn hand. <laughs> All right. So let's just go, since we went over that, let's just go over these one more time for anybody who might have just came in in a second. Let's see. Pikachu, Stunfisk, Ekans, Breloom, Voltorb. Hollow, Psychic Energy, Zekrom, Energy, that's not a Hollow Zekrom either, Energy, How, I don't know if it's pronounced Heyu or How, I've never figured it out, so, thanks for giving me likes guys, Golurk, Volcarona, and then the Code Card, and the other pack we opened was... Crocodile, Pikachu, Ekans, Zora. I love that Zora art, by the way. It's pretty cool. Buzel. I hate Buzel. <laughs> Full Hollow Raikou. A Hollow Reshiram. At Psychic Energy, Volcarona, Pokemon Catcher, and a Warp Energy. Now we'll get on to announcements. I'll just show the Mewtwo one more time, and then we'll get into announcements. I think you guys will be pleased. To the people who just left randomly and are keep leaving, you guys are missing out on something awesome. This is the Muto. It does, when it's in the, uh, off the bench, I believe it is, let's see. If, yeah, when it's off your bench and active, it, everything does 20 less damage on your opponent's side. And that's actually good for Decidueye, now that I think about it, because he can do 20 damage to one bench Pokemon. I think it is, or any Pokemon. Which means that this can actually negate that, which is very good. And for 3 energy, it does 100 damage with no repercussion. This is epic. Especially the art, too. Peter, you're, you're on to that with that, that it's sweet. Kind of like that. Alright. So we'll get into the announcements, and then there's the pin, too. So far, I have two pins. So we're going to close this up. I'm going to shake it free. I still can't get over that twerk it out. <coughs> Excuse me.
Excuse me, folks. <laughs> a lot of dust down here where I record. So that was it. And let me get into the... I'm going to put this right here for you guys. And you know what? Why not show you this too? I started doing a wood cut out of Cubone. Anyway, so I went to Comic-Con the other day and I picked up a few things to give away to the fans. We won't be giving... a. Uh, before I get continue, Riley, this pin, these are brand new. They came out today at Walmart. You can get this one or a Pikachu one. They both come with three packs and a pin and an exclusive card. They're only 15 bucks, so it's not too bad. I, I You can get them elsewhere, I'm pretty sure, but I always get mine at Walmart. Anyway, so I went to Comic-Con, and I bought some stuff for the fans. We'll be giving that away in a little bit. Not tonight, but we'll be give, doing contests to give the stuff away. And, like I mentioned earlier, I have a job again. I was unemployed for a while, and I was working paycheck to paycheck, you know, uh, busting my ass doing everything I possibly could from woodworking to just, you know, fixing cars and all kinds of crazy shit that people don't, you know. Like, that. basically, I was week to week on everything I did. I did 100 jobs. But anyway, uh, I got a job now, so I'm going to be giving away stuff more often. You know, I figure out every paycheck, I'll take a couple dollars out and get a box of cards or a Pokemon plush or something cool like that. And I'll just be giving it away to fans. Maybe my wood burnings too. And it won't just be on this page. It'll also be on 8-Bit. It'll be on the Charlie Chainsaw page. It'll be on the Insert Fandoms Here page. It'll be on a bunch of different pages, but I will advertise them on here as well. So, but... The first set of giveaways, which will be coming up, I haven't had a time to figure out what we're going to do for the giveaway or the dates, are going to be, let me pick up my phone so I can show you guys. I don't have a lot of space. There's one. Thanks, William. Funny thing is I'm working where I used to and I'm so much happier. There's two. It doesn't stand up quite right because it's on an angle. There's two. And three. It's actually full length. is pretty cool. Having a hard time getting them to stand up though because the table's a little uneven. But yeah. So we have an Eevee that we'll be giving away. This was actually, I got it at Comic-Con, New York Comic-Con, yesterday. And then we have the Espeon. They actually have suction cups on them, too, so you can hang them if you really wanted to. And then Umbreon. The only thing I don't like is the mouth on an Espeon. So, I couldn't get the other evolutions. They didn't have them left. Or else I would have. But my favorite Pokemon is Scyther, Kaylee. So yeah, we will be giving these away. I'm actually going to be picking up uh, packs of cards to give away eventually. My job actually sells the cards, so I'll be able to get them a little bit cheaper, I think. So we can... Let me put Eevee up here. So we can give them away too. And yeah. Let me just put the ear up here and see if I can lean it. I don't want it on my spotlight. I'll hold it up. So these will be... They don't want to stay up. <laughs> these will be given away. And Umbreon's kind of like leaning on it. But... <laughs> I'm going to be giving away a bunch of stuff. and I'm going to be buying stuff from the Pokemon Center to give away as well eventually. And, do like I said, more live streams. Uh, Jet and Charlie show... Nobody ever got info on that, and I feel sorry about it, because sh we should have made announcements, but Jet's kind of an a-hole when it comes to announcements. You know, like, he, well, I shouldn't say he's an a-hole, he's not, but, like, he loses track and never goes through with it. So Jet and Charlie shows really no more. We can't really do it. I'm going to do my own thing from now on with Intern Jim, if possible. And eventually I'll continue my wood-burning live streams now that I can afford the product to make it. Also, around Christmas time, we will be selling Pokemon ornaments. I'm starting on some Eevee ones, 
uh, all the evolutions. I'm going to make some more popular Pokemon like Greninja and Pikachu and all of them. And basically, we'll have some ornaments to sell for about a dollar or two a piece. All right. So this is just started to giveaways. Uh, keep an eye on the page for more details because it'll be coming up very soon. And once again, I feel like this Eevee is wasted. Ready? Have you had too much to drink? <laughs> so anyway, all these giveaways will be coming up. And if I can get them done in time, I had some problems, so I couldn't get them done. I have these phone holders. And I have iPad holders that I'll be making as well. This is These are prototypes. So this would be the Flareon. They're a lot bigger, the real ones. You know. There's a color model of Leafeon. Umbreon, you know. And then EV is right here. I just have the head on so I can take it off and on for modeling. But they'll be coming out too. If I can get them done in time. But they will come out eventually. And other than that, I have them Cubone cutouts. I'm going to be trying to do these with all Pokemon. That's possible. This one's not perfect. I just started making it. Let me put the phone back up so it's not shaking. So I made this one. That's actually pretty cool with the card behind it too. But this one was designed as just a prototype. I have a, another one too. But it's not Pokemon. This is another one I've been working on. If you can't tell, it's Harlequin. But I'm going to be doing a bunch of art like this, Pokemon themed. Let's see where it goes. Also, I'm doing spray painting. And some of that will be given away. Welcome to my workshop temporarily. My big one's outside. And I've just been playing with spray painting. That one was kind of just, I sprayed it to spray it. But this is the real thing. So I might make a couple things like this to sell. Exclu excuse the cracking, though. This was just testing out. So I do a lot of spray painting for jobs, and I figured I'd try stenciling. So I might sell something like this or give it away for everybody. So anyway, if I can get the phone back up. There we go. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate it. I know I haven't been live streaming in a while. I want to give a shout out to somebody named Christopher. Let me explain that one. I was going to Comic Con yesterday. It was right. We, you know, me and my brother, we went, enjoyed it. And then on the way home, we had all this trouble at the train station. They literally left us they abandoned all the passengers for three hours. We were supposed to leave at nine. We didn't get on the bus till twelve. And nobody there wanted to do anything about it. So I'm standing there with my bag, a huge bag of Comic-Con stuff. And a woman comes up to me and goes, you were at Comic-Con, can I see what you got? So I said, sure, and I'm showing her. And I showed her that Eevee. And she goes, that's cute. And I said, yeah. And I explained evolutions and all the fans and giving it away. And as soon as I mentioned Pokemon, this little boy comes running out of nowhere. And he goes, did you say Pokemon all excited? And I said, yeah, and I told him I run a page, or I help run a page called Evolutions. And, you know, I was giving them away. And he goes, oh, I know that page. And he was all excited. And I said, yeah, I'm Charlie Chainsaw. And he just, like, his face went from being all happy to just shocked. And he goes, you're Charlie Chainsaw? And I went, yeah, it's your old pal Charlie Chainsaw. And he just, like, flipped. He was so excited. It was like he saw a celebrity. And, you know, I, I've never seen that in my life. I, I've i never seen somebody react like that to somebody. I, I was just amazed. So I gave him a lanyard because I didn't have anything to autograph. And it made his day just seeing me and meeting me. So I just wanted to give a shout-out to him if he's watching this. And, you know, if anybody sees any of us admins on the street, some of them are in the U.K., one's in Canada, a couple of us are in the U.S., you know, feel free to just say hi and, you know, we'll say hi back. We're nice people, all right? I was just ecstatic the way that person reacted. 
it made my day. It really did. So I just wanted to say that. Well, you know, we're here for you guys, and you know, I mean, it's hard to see because we're just people behind a computer, but to most people anyway. But we appreciate when people say, you know, thanks and. You know, just show how much they appreciate what we do for you guys to entertain you and all. But anyway, them, let me get off topic there. Them uh, giveaways will be soon. I just got to figure out what exactly I'm doing for the giveaways. I plan on doing a couple wood-burning ones as well. And like I said, the, uh, cards and all that. It's just I got to get everything situated. So stay tuned. Keep watching the page. And like I tell everybody on these live streams, this is Charlie Chainsaw. Telling all my misfits out there to keep on keeping on. Have a good night, y'all.